Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. On Roku, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. That's also the Roku vanity code. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, like all of us, I'm always on the hunt for new talent. Right? I'm always looking to discover some fighter who is better than advertised. Who you know is going to upset a lot of better known fighters. Who you sense is special. Who looks like he has a foundation of skills that he's going to improve upon that other fighters just won't be able to handle. Right now I was researching a few fights and I believe I've stumbled across a gem. A young guy in his early 20s at light welter. Right? Some people know who he is because, curiously, his trainer happens to be Freddie Roach. His promoter happens to be Golden Boy. Right? He is 18 and 0 with 13 KOs. And let's just say, as I looked at this guy on film, I was impressed. He's from East L.A. His name is Frankie Gomez. He's different than any other Freddie Roach fighter I know of. Right? This guy doesn't have a lot of lateral movement. He's not moving around the ring. He's not Manny Pacquiao. He's not Miguel Cotto. Right? No, this is a different guy. Right? This guy stands really off to the side but in front of you right and let me just say there's much more to boxing than hand speed and foot speed this guy is a master at moving his upper body right let's just say there's a lot of Mayweather in him he stands in front of you and he's bending that upper body right very hard to hit him there just isn't a lot of hittable space now when you step forward he moves back right a Mayweather will move side to side this guy doesn't even do that he'll move back but what's interesting with him is that he's able to come in and throw punches he can let his hands go he can triple up with both hands he's reading you like a book he's a master body puncher right he's not an ambush fighter this is a guy who's standing in front of you he makes his upper body practically invisible but he's not bobbing and weaving like, let's say, Sergio Martinez. No, this guy, who has a big punch, bigger than 70% KO ratio, this guy looks at you and is strategically cutting off the ring. You try to throw punches on him, you can't find him. He doesn't throw a lot of jabs. He's just looking for opening so he can then start throwing punches to your opening. I know I'm sounding vague, ambiguous, and absurd. But it's very hard to describe this guy's fight style. Right? The guy also has a three-dimensional game. In other words, he can bend at his knees. Right? Not just at the waist. He'll bend at his knees. He'll suddenly drop down right without bending at the waist just so he can land his hardcore body shots he's very accurate right in my favorites folder is a fight between him and Vernon Paris I understand Paris is a guy who's been in the ring with Zab Judah that was his only loss before this fight he had more experience than Frankie Gomez. 
right? He's a mover who can move around the ring. I thought that if Paris moved around the ring, Gomez would have problems catching up with him. But Gomez didn't. Because Gomez is kind of like a Mike Tyson figure in terms of his movement. He's able to kind of like slowly cut off the ring on you. Right? Guys are moving. He's not falling for the bait. He's not chasing after the guy. He's not throwing punches at air. No, he's just strategically figuring out angles to cut the ring off on you. Then, of course, he sees an opening. He's up on you. He stays on you. Let me point out, too, his upper body is so good in terms of him contorting it and bending it and stuff like that that he's hard to clinch. Right? Now, there are some concerns. He bends his knees. At times, he wears a knee brace. You want to pay attention to knee problems. Think about how knee problems slow down Sergio Martinez. Right? Other concerns are his level of opposition. Don't be fooled by the records of some of the guys he's fought, right? Orlando Vasquez hardly fought anybody, fought many guys with losing records. Prince Doku Jr. fought many guys with losing records, right? Uh, Leonard Lane, they call him the fighting fireman. I suspect this guy is moonlighting as a boxer, right? So right now, Frankie Gomez hasn't fought the A-list, but let's just say his upper body is rear in boxing. He really knows how to make his upper body small. Let's just say the skill level slips out every now and then. Because you notice he can actually go southpaw. And then he can pivot back. And you notice that he's excellent in terms of balance. He never looks off balance. Right, And that's interesting for a guy who is jumping in very explosive, jumps in with heavy shots to the body. He's getting a lot of leverage on those body shots. His nickname is Pit Bull. Right? I'll just say he's that rare fighter who can move in slow motion isn't that busy with the jab and yet can slowly dominate around right he's very patient i hope you give this guy a look it looks like some well-known people freddie roach oscar de la hoya are already backing him there's a reason why they're doing so this guy is one of the better young boxers out there right don't focus too much don't get fooled into believing that the only talent in the sport is over 30 there's some young guys right now on the way up who have a lot of skills I consider Frankie Gomez unbeaten Frankie Gomez greater than 70 percent KO ratio Frankie Gomez a guy who had Vernon Paris looking beat up at the end of their fight. I consider this guy to be a rising star. I hope you give him a look. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and if you look at one thing when you look at Frankie Gomez, just look at how he moves his upper body. Right? He has the kind of confidence where a guy throws a body shot he doesn't panic. His upper body just moves out of the way. I can't do it justice here in this video. I hope you check out his fights. Thanks for stopping by.